Hi, me again Jerry. Let us continue our tutorial on input and output statement. Our previous example showed only how to output input entries. How about if we're concerned displaying computed values? Consider the following problem. Design Java program net price that computes the net price of a given product. We impose a 10% discount on total price. Okay, let's begin the solution. Let's launch Eclipse. Click Workspace. So this is the, our previous program. Let's click again my Java project. Collapse this one. Select source and select Java package. To create a new program, we click file, new, class. The name of our program is net price. Click finish. Okay, let us start coding our program with the basics. We do first the inputting of data. We declare the uh, library for the scanner class. Let us do the inputting of data. Just like with our previous example, we have used here the scanner class utility that will handle our entries for the program. We use system.out.print because we want our cursor to be placed after the colon of, of each prompt. Next, we declare an identifier or variable that will hold the value of each entry that we will, that we will have on the program. Every identifier variable that we will use on Java program must be declared and initialized. This is a good programming practice. Product is declared as string because this is a text entry. We use two double quotes to signify that the initial value of product is null. Unit price and quantity are all declared with double data type with an initial value of 0. To compute the total price of the product, we need to multiply unit price and quantity. Therefore, a new variable is needed to hold the result of the product. We use total price as our, as our identifier and declare it with the same data type double since we are computing two double data types. Again, we initialize our unused variables with zero. The next obvious thing to do is to write the formula that will handle the computation after accepting all the entry all the entries 
okay so before we do that okay let's have our entries product for unit price we have quantity we compute for the total price after getting all our entries so the formula for total price would be total price would be equal to quantity multiplied by unit price sure you are typing the correct variable name total price with the small letter is different from total price with a capital letter that is why on this line you have an error see this red mark so to make it correct again we make it capital java is case sensitive you will encounter compiler error if you are using two different names on your program the best practice is to declare immediately the variable on the top of the program after main once you decide on the name you will use Our program already achieved computing the values of the possible entries on the program. The next step we do is to compute for the discount and the net price. We will use the following codes to compute for the values. For the 10%, we use 0 0.1. Again, to avoid the error of undeclared variables, we go to the top of the program where we declare our variables and initialize it with value 0. So to correct these two red marks, underline marks, we declare it up. We reach now where, the, where we output the result of these computations. Issue the following system dot out dot print ln statement concatenating our variables with the literal text required. We save our program. And we run it. We go here. iPhone 4 S 99.97. Let us say we're going to buy 20. The question is, how do we achieve output just like we have at the sample output as we define our problem on the start? We use a special class program, decimal format, which is included on the package java.text.decimal format. We include and declare this package uh, at the location where we declare our scanner package. We just enter beneath the scanner package declaration with this statement. So let's go back with our program. 
we import Java text dot decimal format. Next, we instantiate or create an object to make use of the decimal format class. On this case, we name our object df. Object name. You will notice that there is a string text seven sharps with two decimal zeros and close within double quotes. This serves as a format this serves as a format of what output should be. If your value reach thousands, it will include a comma with two decimal places. Two commas two commas if it is reach if it reach millions with two decimal places. Decimal format has a method format. We make use of this method together with the df object we have declared. Thus, our displaying of the result will be revised this way. save our program then we run again iPhone rest and this would be our output. 